Gentlemen, you will permit me to put on my spectacles, for, I have grown not only gray, but almost blind in the service of my country. To be prepared for war is one of the most effectual means of preserving peace. A people unused to restraint must be led, they will not be drove. The time is now near at hand which must probably determine whether Americans are to be freemen or slaves, whether they are to have any property they can call their own, whether their houses and farms. My brave fellows, you have done all I asked you to do, and more than can be reasonably expected, but your country is at stake, your wives, your houses and all that you hold dear. You have worn yourselves. Remember that it is the actions, and not the commission, that make the officer, and that there is more expected from him, than the title. By the all-powerful dispensations of providence, I have been protected beyond all human probability and expectation, for I had four bullets through my coat, and two horses shot under me, yet escaped unhurt. There is nothing so likely to produce peace as to be well prepared to meet an enemy. The right wing, where I stood, was exposed to and received all the enemy's fire I heard the bullets whistle, and, believe me, there is something charming in the sound. Let us therefore animate and encourage each other, and show the whole world that a freeman, contending for liberty on his own ground, is superior to any slavish mercenary on earth. Three things prompt men to a regular discharge of their duty in time of action, natural bravery, hope of reward, and fear of punishment. It may be laid down as a primary position, and the basis of our system, that every citizen who enjoys the protection of a free government, owes not only a proportion of his property, but even his personal. If we desire to avoid insult, we must be able to repel it, if we desire to secure peace, one of the most powerful instruments of our rising prosperity, it must be known, that we are at all times ready. My mother was the most beautiful woman I ever saw. All I am I owe to my mother. I attribute my success in life to the moral, intellectual and physical education I received from her. We sainted St. Tammany, King Tamana and the Third because he embodied moral perfection and every divine qualification that a deity could possess. I hold him in higher esteem than the saints of the Roman Catholic Church. He'll forever be the patron saint of America. A primary object should be the education of our youth in the science of government. In a republic, what species of knowledge can be equally important? And what duty more pressing than communicating it to those who are to be the future guardians of the liberties of the country? A free people ought not only to be armed, but discipline, to which end a uniform and well-digested plan is requisite, and their safety and interest require that they should promote such manufactories as tend to render them independent of others for essential, particularly military, supplies. In politics as in philosophy, my tenets are few and simple. The leading one of which, and indeed that which embraces most others, is to be honest and just ourselves and to exact it from others, meddling as little as possible in their affairs where our own are not involved. If this maxim was generally adopted, wars would cease and our swords would soon be converted into reap hooks and our harvests be more peaceful, abundant, and happy.